Hey everybody, this is Kyle, and here is another reaction with an artist I actually got to perform with. A few years back, I got to open for Sarah Potenza, and Sarah Potenza was a contestant on The Voice, and I'll put her uh, website up over here. So looking at my past calendar, it was May of 2017, where she came through where my friend has house concerts, and I got to open for her. When she performed that time, it was her and her husband doing a duo. The only prompt I had is like, oh, she's got a huge soulful voice. Uh, she's on the voice TV show. And that was about all I knew. And she was really cool to get a chance to talk to, talk to her husband a little bit about playing guitar. I want to say thanks to my patrons. Want to see your name listed? Then sign up at three or five dollars per month. But you can support me at one dollar a month too. Patrons make my work here possible. And each month now, I post four exclusive videos of original music, cover songs, or other content. I post often and share life and previews of what's to come. They were a lot of fun to listen to, so I'm curious to hear her. Um, this is I Work For Me Live. And as I was getting this ready, it looked like, you know, a band on stage. So I have not heard her play with a band. So let's get to this and uh, check this out. I work for me. Now, when she was at the house concert, she didn't do, like, costumes or, uh, you know, get into body positivity mode like that. So that was, that was a little unexpected, but, you know, that's cool. Um, you could imagine if you're in someone's living room, dining room area, uh, and, and someone starts singing like that. It's very impressive to be around a singer that has a huge voice like that. Because of my asthma, my voice is, you know, I need a microphone or I should use a microphone. Anyway. They told me I was nothing. They told me I was trash. They told me I was too young to ever make it last. I really like the sound of the band. They, they kind of had this like a uh, neo soul pop kind of vibe going on. And her voice works so well with this. That is carrying so much energy. It's interesting to see her in a house concert setting because that's very much low key. It's less about what you do performance wise. I mean, yeah, you're, you know, playing notes, singing notes, whatever. To me, that's always like a separate thing, you know, performing the musical part of it as opposed to putting on a show. And right now she is putting on a show. This is cool. I don't need no ballpoint. I can run my own joint. I've been signing my 
On stage with her, I'm pretty sure that is her husband playing guitar. It's a few years ago. I remember the beard. It seems longer. I don't remember this song being performed. Um, I'll talk about the song and, and what I think about that after this uh, performance, though. so much thank you all so much it's incredible to be here we got this new record road to rome and let me tell you something okay we're gonna lay it down it's good as a place to stop it as any so yeah she sounds awesome with a band when you have a voice that big you know and i'm thinking of janice joplin you know these kind of archetypical blues soul singers where you know some of that kind of comes from gospel you're in a, in a church or group setting and your voice needs to be huge so everybody can follow that. And that tradition of singers is, is always so strong. Now this particular song, I'd be curious to hear a studio version. To me, a song like this, it's very anthemic. You have that part I work for me, it's repeated. The idea is to get people sing along with you. It makes them feel empowered. There is you know, inherent feeling and, and meaning in those words. I work for me. And, and why I'm saying I'd be curious about a studio version is, it, it, I'm, I'm wondering if it would be boring to hear the studio version live. You, you have that excitement, it's on stage. You know, it seems like the song is just a little bit more than three minutes, maybe right around three minutes in length. In, in this performance, you know, you had the visual body positive aspect, you have the other singer, you have the other people on stage. And in a studio recording, obviously all that stuff is gone. You, you don't have any of that visual reference. I just wonder how much the song would carry itself or, or come across. And of course, you could produce it in a way to have some of those exciting aspects. But yeah, this makes me remember how exciting she is to listen to. Imagine her and a guitar player sitting in your living room playing songs. That that has a magical quality that is hard to describe. So let me know what you think of this one. Let me know if you've seen Sarah Potenza on The Voice when she was on years back. Uh, let me know what you think of this song or if you'd be interested in hearing some more. So I'll see you next time.